All right, folks, Coach Jay here, IYC Coaching. I have another video today to help you smash your fitness goals. So I'm gonna give you three tips on how to <clears throat> hit those goals and make it as simple as possible. So step number one is I want you to keep your eyes on the prize. So I want you to visualize what it is you are hoping to achieve. And I want you to do more than visualize. I want you to actually feel what it'd be like. So if you're trying to get to your high school weight, if you're trying to get to a certain dress size, if you're trying to get to a pant size, I want you to really, really feel that. So see it. Maybe the picture you had when you were in shape. <clears throat> Maybe you've never been in shape. Maybe you have a picture of somebody who looks kind of like you, like you'd like, like to be. And I want you to imagine what you would feel like. Imagine how much energy you have. Imagine what people's reaction to you would be. Um, imagine walking into your high school reunion or your, your office and all of a sudden you're down to wherever you want to be. The more real you make it, the more powerful it's going to be and the more useful it's going to be for you. So imagine it in every way. With, you know, um, Just be that person. <clears throat> That's step number one. Step number two, very important, is don't wait for perfection to happen to start making progress. I can't tell you how many times I've had people come to me, <clears throat> want to get in shape, or you know, maybe they want to even martial arts. Maybe they want to compete, or they want to you know get a rank in their martial arts system. And like, well, you know, I I, I want to start, but you know, I, I I can't make all the classes. And you know, my 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 wife works late, or my my son has soccer, and you know, I, I you know, the food's kind of expensive, and they have all these excuses why they they simply won't take action. Don't be that person. Be the action taker. Don't let perfection, waiting for perfection, get in the way of making progress. Start moving forward. Take something, some action. Um, start eating healthier this week. Um, <clears throat> get one extra exercise session in. Go for an extra walk. You know, um, just just do something to start moving you closer to that goal. Motivation follows action. So if you start moving, you'll start feeling motivated. That's step two. Step three is you need, in my opinion, in my experience, to develop a support system. One of the biggest challenges that uh, folks that are trying to lose weight have, uh, this as far as uh, coming through us, is they might be excited about losing weight and getting in shape, but their family is not. Uh, if it's a female, maybe their husband doesn't care. You know, obviously the, the kids are going to give them a hard time with eating healthier, um, you know, or their coworkers are. <clears throat> and I'll tell you this, I see this a lot. And many times um, when people are trying to lose weight, I, I, again, it could be some get stronger, it could be a dude trying to bulk up, whatever. Let's, but most people are trying to lose weight. What, they'll, what I'll find is, is many of, the, of this circle of friends are also overweight. And it becomes a big challenge because your support system, who, what, or should be a support system, isn't very excited for you to accelerate your progress and maybe move into a different level of looks or a different level of confidence. Uh, maybe your spouse is concerned that, you know, you're going to be more attractive than they expect. And so which would make them want to step up his or her game, which isn't a bad idea, but having a support system is really, really helpful. This is why a lot of people come to us and they hire us as to be their accountability coach. You know, they do classes, they, <clears throat> they get nutrition advice, but they also have us actually follow up. It, it could just be a, a, a maybe you and, a, and, your, and your best friend decide to do this together and you hold each other accountable. It would be best if it was your family, your, if you have a family, if you're your spouse, your kids. And sometimes, and what we find is sometimes when someone gets on board and they start making progress, they're like, oh, cool. I, you know, my wife was taking this seriously this time or my husband's really, really getting focused on this and they might want to join it. Uh, what happens a lot of times over the years is people kind of half-ass start stuff and they don't really do it right. And so the husband's like going, oh, my wife wants to do another weight loss program. Oh boy. <clears throat> or it's like, oh, my husband's going to try to lose weight again. So that is a, is a real thing. So support system is super important. And I don't, I don't want to make this video too long, but this is important. So let's, let me reiterate. So the, the first thing is strongly, strongly visualize and internalize what the end result's going to be. 
be that person. Be that person in here. If you be that person here, you're going to be that person in here. You know, it's going to it's going to work. <clears throat> Very important. Maybe even take your cell phone and make your your lock screen the image that motivates you. Again, it could be an earlier picture of yourself. Maybe it's a celebrity that has a similar body type to you. Make sure the body type is similar. If you are tall and thin, have no curves, don't get the most voluptuous actress in the world to be your <clears throat> role model. Just saying. But you know, find someone like, oh, she looks like me. She's built like me. I want to look like her. Or if it's a guy, you know, I, this guy looks about my height. Has my kind of build. I want to look like him. That's important. Eye on the prize. Make sure that you um, really. Don't let little imperfections in the in, in the plan derail your progress. Don't wait for perfection to make progress. Just start taking some action. And the third step is find a support system. Develop up a support system. Again, if no one in your in your circle of friends is on board, if your family is going to give you a hard time, if you know your kids are going to give you a hard time, then you know you, that's why people hire coaches. So we're there. Hope that you find that useful. If you like content like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. It helps us out. It allows us to keep bringing you more content. I have a mission, folks. I have a mission. I have I have a mission to bring important messages of health, fitness, wellness to you, the viewer, the subscriber, the casual observer, people passing by looking for videos of people falling on ice, whatever. So in IYC Coaching, my mission is to help you become happier, healthier, and harder to heal. So please like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.